The UK Health Security Agency has advised adults to stay at home or wear a mask when going outside to reduce the spread of illness. Is a return to COVID style measures necessary to alleviate the strain on the NHS? So on the one hand, you've got a question of the NHS, how it's coping or not coping. We lost 40,000 care workers. That's having a huge impact in care. And we've got beds that are being blocked. And we've got a situation where GPs have not been seeing people and people have been going to A&E. All of this has led to a situation which we see every winter, but now on steroids. And what people warned about with both lockdowns and a COVID-only NHS was we would see many, many consequences in cancer, heart disease and strokes. We've seen all of that. Then the conversation about whether we should then be wearing masks. We've had lots of research now the last couple of years, and it's been very difficult to find any conclusive evidence that there are any benefit. In fact, the government itself, the mm. nudge unit, the behavioural psychological unit, actually said we want people to wear masks so that they actually are scared and they know that they take it seriously and stay at home is just a continuation of a really big problem adults make judgments right and if they're mm. sick then they may make a decision not to go to work or take other measures but the idea we're going to start masking up to try and stop spread of things at this point is both i think damaging okay. and ridiculous do you feel as though the masks are more of a psychological thing for people than anything they're absolutely part of a nudge. They're also part of a restrictive attitude. There's no conclusive evidence that there are of any real benefit. We've got a situation where we've got a cost of lockdown, cost of living crisis. We've got around 5 million people that are not working in Britain. That's the actual number. We have lots of people that are uh, uh, taking t time off sick. That's true in the NHS as elsewhere. And now we're encouraging more stay at home when we've had over two and a half years of this. And when we, what we need to do is have productivity and robust dynamic situation. We've been told by the UK HSA it's not just for adults, it's also for children. We're talking about now something that is endemic that we said we would need to get on with and live. We've had enough disruption that it's been categorical damages to our health system, to uh, our economy, uh, to families and business, and this is ongoing. The same repetitive thing. It's almost like uh, insanity when you do something and it doesn't work and then you repeat it again.